we grow oats, hay, canola, barley and wheat. I've been doing it for 30 odd years and I do it because it's always a challenge, never two seasons are the same. There's probably never a dull moment. One of the first jobs we do during um, in the mornings is usually service the machines and we're putting in fuel and blowing out air cleaners and greasing bearings and things like that which is just standard maintenance every day. Harvesting is usually a fairly hectic time. There's four of us involved. I've got my son Alex, my brother Simon drives a truck and we've got a workman that drives a truck, Chris. And we all have our own jobs basically and it seems quite intense for a period of time. There's long days. We'd get started at around about 8, 8.30 in the morning and work through until about 10 and it's pretty hard to burn the candle at both ends. We're trying to do a, quite a large area. We've got 4,300 hectares to harvest with one header. It means that it's not a sprint. You've got to basically just pace yourself. So we try to make sure that we just work at a steady rate rather than flat out and stop and flat out and stop. We try to eliminate the tired factor if we can. We've been clients to CSBP for quite a number of years and it's important to know what state your soil's in. Um, it's also equally important to make sure that the product that you've got is got the right ingredients for what is going to balance your soils. And I believe that CSBP offer that. We're trying to do lots of weed control, not just at spraying time, but also at harvest time, both chemically um, and uh, mechanically. With things like seed destructors in headers, which create a huge amount of dust. When you're sitting in a header, it, it would appear that you haven't got much to do there's always plenty to think about. There's the pricing of the grain, and whether you could have grown it a better way or put more fertiliser on or a different spray or growing something else, an alternative type of crop. Then you have somebody calls up and there's a breakdown or the quality is not quite right and you've got to think about how you can fix that or, or repair that. Yeah, we'll be able to do that. That'll be all right, Jeff, yeah. And then you question to yourself whether you did it all for nothing or you've done it all for something. But at the end of the day, even if you don't make a lot of money, you've survived. I really enjoy what I do and um, it's a bonus. You know, if you find a job that you don't you actually like, you don't usually have to work again. So that's what I've been doing.